Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to tell you how you can use count function in Excel in variable ways. So uh, let's start with this table. Um, uh, I would want to count number of employees in this table. So um, uh, there's a function which is simple count. In this case, you need to type equal count and then you start bracket and then select the range of cells that you want to apply the count formula on and then close the bracket. So it will count for you the number of employees uh, in, uh, by selecting this particular range. So the problem here in this case is if you want to apply the same formula uh, on the range having text only, you will not be able to have results. Let's say if I, I apply the same formula here equals count and then I choose uh, after parenthesis, I choose this range which has male and female uh, gender bifurcation or maybe this uh, particular name list. So in this particular case, it will not return me the exact value. So I applied the same count formula which applied here uh, where I selected uh, a range of uh, cells having numbers only and here I selected um, a range of cells having text-based uh, values only. So it did not uh, give me any result. In this case, particular case, you have to use count A which will count all the numbers, all the alphabets or um, any any text that is uh, in those particular cells. So let's start with uh, applying this formula. So equals count A bracket start and then you choose this range having gender which is only text based and bracket close, it will give you the total number of employees. Uh, the plus point with this formula is um, even if you have numbers in this range, for example, I, I add these three numbers here and if I apply this formula for this entire range using count A, it will give me the total number of instances in this particular selection. So this is how we use count A, which is count all. Now, uh, if we move to um, count if function, in this case, you need to type equal count if. And this function is used uh, to find out exact values which you are looking for. Let's say I want to calculate the number of males in the list, or I want to calculate the number of females in the list. So start with equal count if bracket start and then you choose this range and then comma and then in inverted commas you need to type male and then bracket close. So it will give you the number of uh, instances uh, mentioned as male in this selected range. Now if I want to apply the same formula for another text maybe, so I copied the same formula and instead of male, I mentioned as female. So we have three females in this range, column E, and then nine males in this list. Uh, in this particular case, I selected the complete range. If you want to uh, uh, select the uh, entire column, you can also do that. So in this particular case, let's say if I want to count males in this particular range, so what I did was I selected this complete column. So in this complete column, wherever the function finds male, it is going to count that for you. So this is how we use count if function. So in today's video, uh, we covered simple count, and the simple count is mostly used for is used for numbers only, and a count all, which uh, covers text and numbers altogether, and then count if, 
which uh, will help you determine the number of instances as per the selected criteria. I hope this video was useful for you. Please stay in touch. Do subscribe to our channel and comment uh, if you have uh, any queries or questions regarding any function in Excel or Microsoft Office. Thank you.